Buenos días, mi gente. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. It's 3.22 on a Sunday. And today I'm going to install a hood lock. I mentioned to you before, and you've probably seen in the other video, but this is not the same hood lock that I had before. The Tuffy hood lock, that one would not work on my Jeep. I'm going to show you a picture of what it looks like. There's actually two different ones. This one I got it from Quadratech. Um, the instructions here are, let's see, this says, it says Wrangler TJ Hood Lock Installation Instruction, HL3. All right, if you look at the, um, the one in the picture I showed you, it's different. When I called Tuffy, uh, literally they said, well, I don't know why it doesn't fit. It's the only one we have and it's supposed to fit. So they don't even know about the products that they sell. I didn't even call the place I bought it from. I called Tuffy. So, go figure. Hold on. Oh. I need both hands for this. Hold on. Okay. So, I'm going to show you how this one installs. Uh, it's supposed to go right underneath here with the lock. And like I said, this is just for security. Uh, mind you, if you're in the mall or the movie theater, and somebody needs a battery, well, you know they need to open somebody's car door in order to get to the battery, but they know that a Jeep can open from the front. So a little deterrent, and if it makes the work, it makes it a little harder for them, then go for it. Um, let me get my stand, and this should be a quick setup compared to the other one. Now what I did want to explain to you, I don't have the photo, but when you look at the photo, this extends out in the instructions, it says that there's a hole here, right here, where you would stick it into the grill, stick it out through here, and screw it in. Mine does not have a hole. You need to look at your Jeep before you go and buy the hood lock, because if it doesn't have the hole here to stick it through, then you need this one. And let me tell you, the other one, Tuffy, cost me $47 plus tax. You know how much this thing cost me? $8.99, Quadratech, Quadra through Quadratech. Uh, even comes with a three year warranty. Let me get the stand and we'll go ahead and start the installation. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with the uh, process of the installation. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and remove the keys from here. Comes with two keys. One's up, one I'll put in my keychain. The other one I'll save it with the other spare key for the Jeep, just in case. These are your keys. At least you have the spare. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off, put it on the side, and then it says to remove, the instructions said remove the two screws, so if you're talking about, you look right up here, these two screws you're going to remove, because you're going to end up putting, stick this underneath, and attaching it there. So, we're going to go ahead and do that part, let me see what size of a socket we actually need. Go here with, let's see. Do, 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 do. Nope, too small. Oh. Too big. So, what does that mean? I'm going to go to the other side, which too big. There we go. So this one is a 10 millimeter. And we'll go ahead and take the screws off. Let me get the camera in here in place. And we can go ahead and start removing the screws. Yeah, the other one, like I said, would not fit on my Jeep. So you have to be careful when you buy it, because now I have to return it. And it's a pain in the butt to return, because I purchased it over two or three months ago. And what happened? Well, the, they have a return policy for about 90 days. So what happens is that 
since it went over, now they're going to charge me stock entry. Which is fine because I still get most of my money back. So I just want to make sure that when you buy something, get the warranty. So that way you know you can get your money back on time versus, oh, it's too late. You know, time went by, and now you can't get your money back. These screws are pretty tight in there. Some WD forty, I'll put them back in. Now they're out. As you can see, it's rusty. Put some WD-40 in there. So that would be easy to put back on. Now we're going to come back here and extend this thing again. And show you how to install the hood lock. Alright, I'm going to show you exactly how this goes. As you can see, I take the screws out. Don't take out these little brackets. Leave them on there because you're going to use this to hold it in place. This piece here is going to go over the latch here. So, and be careful, you got a wire harness in here. Um, you don't want to pinch it. You got to stick it through. You can get this piece over. All right, once you get it over, like I said, try not to pinch the wire harness. To keep the wire harness behind uh, the whole thing itself. And you want to line up the hole. You want to line up the holes with the holes from up here. Hopefully, this is going to work. Alright, uh, it's hard to see. So, I got a little flashlight here. These uh, holes here, you got to line it up with this. Let's see if I can pull this up a little more. You're going to get a little better view here. So what I'm trying to do now is, come on, there we go, alright, I'm going to take the same, I put some uh, PB, PB and J, peanut butter jam, no, PB, PB uh, blaster on here uh, for the screws because they were a little tight. Let me see if I can put these back in. Should grab on to the lock itself. And should be pretty easy. Should be. Like it should be. And this thing does move. So, so you gotta make sure when it moves, it goes right back to the same spot. So when you do put this in, oops, get in the right. something in here with the flashlight Let's see what's going on alright I think I see what's going on let me see did this thing move I think it did move if it does move I want to just put it underneath my 
hands don't fit in here, though. Uh, would I be able to do that? Probably will. But I don't know, it's kind of thick. Let's see what the instructions here say. It says here, please remove this card to front screws that hold the existing latch. Do not remove or loosen the remaining screws nearest the radiator. Flexible weather strip flat. May block access to the front screws. The plastic is flat and remove. Pull back to gain access. Do not cut the weather strip. Remove keys and monitor. Fit the lock carefully through the grill opening and up in position. Make sure the lock and bars fit over the existing latch lever as shown. Also check the wiring harness not pinch. Right. Install the lock. Mounts and screws. All right, I'm gonna try something here because these screws that are on here actually don't come off. And it's hard for me to show. Let me see if I can get the camera to look, but I don't think it will. All right. You see the nut there? Hold on. You see the nut there? When I took the screws out, those nuts are are attached to the plate itself. I'm thinking if I move the plate down, I'm able to shimmy the this plate, this plate right here. Sorry about this. In between, make it easier. But I would have to take this off, of course. It's not going to fit with that on. Um, let me go ahead and try that and see what happens. This is why I like doing videos. People learn. Listen, if you loosen this screw up, this thing moves. I mean, a lot. And I thought I was going to have to pry it down to get it in there. But, I mean, literally, look, it went right in. So easy. By just loosening this one. So, you shove it in underneath that plate, as you can see. And like I said, the instructions say, make sure the latch is over this latch here. I'm going to tighten it down, and then you can adjust it as it goes. So, let me go ahead and put this on. And do this for you guys because, like I said, there's no videos on this because I looked. Um, they have some on the other one. Well, like I said, if your if your PJ doesn't have the uh, the hole, well, guess what? You need to go with this one. And hell, for eight ninety nine compared to forty six dollars, I'd rather go with this one. It's pretty strong. Um, like I said, I'm not looking for my Jeep not to get stolen, but anything that would help deter the thief and maybe go get somebody else's battery or cables or whatever it is will make me happy. I'm just tightening these up. And then. Once you tighten them up, you can always adjust it where you need to. Uh, it's hot, hot in my garage, like always. Now you probably say, "Well, you live in hot weather. What do you expect?" Yeah, but I can't wait for it to cool off. So I can be in the garage more. All right, I'm not tightening it completely because. I want to make sure that it's where it's supposed to be. You can see it won't open. So I'm going to go ahead and get the key. And close it for you. And let you be the judge for yourself. And see if maybe you want this product for your car. I'm not being sponsored. Um, so I'm not making jack off of this. All I'm trying to do is help people like myself where we don't have the big bucks to build. We want to keep our cars safe and looking nice. Okay, so I just closed my tire hood. I'm going to go ahead and lock it. It's locked. And let's see what happens now. If somebody comes and tries to open a hood. Uh, let me do this a little bit better. There we go. 
Mr. Mysterious here. I know some people are always saying, why don't you show yourself? Well, when it gets closer to Halloween, I will. <laughs> You'll see why. Okay, I'm going to open the hood. I'm going to steal the battery. Bam. <laughs> it opened. So what does that mean? Fucked up. That just means that you're gonna have to move it over some. So let's go ahead and do that now. This is why I like doing these videos because people say oh, this shit didn't work. It'll work if you put it on the right way. So let's loosen it up and then shift it over some. All right. So. What I do now is move it probably this way. Let me see. I have to loosen up some more. Today is cruising. I don't do too much recordings on a cruising because I don't get that many views. Um, if you think you want to see it, let me know. Uh, it's today, it's five o'clock. Weather's kind of shitty, but I still might go ahead and make it out there. All right, I just want to get it in here right. So, trying to lock there. Let me tighten it and see what happens. In the lock position, no time to move it. Doesn't open. Let me stick my key in here. See what happens. See went up. So now to work freely. So let's try this again. Boom. So it's closed. Let's bring down the latch. And now somebody come and try to open it. And I know what you're thinking. I could probably push it up. Yeah, you probably can. But you know what? I think to myself, who's going to try that? You might get somebody, but are they really going to go through that trouble? Um, so yeah, as you can see, the hood will not open. I'm going to see if probably... If you guys can see, because I'm always a little anal. But if you're looking, there's a pretty big gap here. Let me see if I can zoom it in some. Oop. Move it up. It's, it's like barely catching. If you can see. Come on. Okay. It's barely catching, so. What I want to do is, I'm going to find a way to lower this. You know, I'm probably going to have to melt this a little bit here. Get it to come down some. Because, like, to me it's a little far up. Uh, maybe I can get a crowbar and just put it down. Maybe I could just bend this in. I don't know, I got to see. There's different things I might be able to do. But I'm going to take it off right now. Um, see if I can bend this a little further down and then tighten this up here. That way there's really no play and this will lower some. That's the main thing. I want to lower this some so it'll fit basically right in there to make it hard. So let's see if I can do that. But the main thing on the video here was I installed the lock. Like I said, it's for deterrent. Uh... If they want to get in, they can get in no matter what. But at least it makes it a little bit harder. If you like the video, share, like, and subscribe. Um, I'll keep making some more videos. And let me see what I do today with the cruising. Will I do the video or not? We'll see. Thank you, everybody. Follow-up video, I'm back. All right. Don't do what I said I was going to do. I said I was going to try to bend this out and then bend this down. You don't have to do that. You see this right here? Well, of course, my dumbass 
they didn't know. You go in here and unscrew this, and there was a, it wasn't all the way up. So I went ahead and pushed it all the way up, and what it did was it actually brought this down further. So what I wanted to do, it already did it. So I put it in there, tried it out, and it looked pretty awesome. Let me go ahead and install it. It takes you two minutes, and uh, I'm thinking of painting this over. I just don't like the way it looks on there. And then we'll take it from there. All right, I'm back again. Now I'm starting to sound like some of my YouTubers. They leave and they come back. All right, as you can see, I painted it black. I think it looks better. Uh, just took some spray paint, painted it. And um, that way the latch, you can't really see it much. But you can see from here, it's open. See, it opens up. Close the hood. Take the key. I'm being a little careful because I just painted it, so I don't want to mess up the paint on the lamp. But I'm going to close it. See? It's closed. Now you go ahead and try to open it. And you can't open it. So, what happened? The default say, fuck it, I'm going to go steal some... Whoops, excuse my language. They're going to go steal somebody else's battery. So, do I like it? Yes, I do. Glad I installed it. Literally... It took five minutes to put on. The hood doesn't rattle, even without the latches, and it's a good deal. All right, for $8.99, if you want, hit me up. I'll let you know where I bought it from. I'll send you the link. You can get the same one. Spray paint it like I did. Share, like, subscribe. I need two more subscribers to hit 100. Um, as soon as I can hit 100, I will be making more videos, whether it be jeeps or anything in the horizon but share like and subscribe send my videos to other people and uh thank you to everybody who watches until the next one